it's Amelia. I wanted to do a quick update on my project pan because um, I've moved things around to other projects and I talk about it on my Instagram but not on here or like I'll sort of talk about some things on here and some on Instagram and it's kind of confusing when not everything is in the same place. So I just wanted to quickly talk about what's moved, what's removed from the project entirely and all that. Um, so this I, lipstick I forgot to bring down last time. This is my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Kim K W W. Yeah, um, this is now moved to the Disney animated film Project Pan, which I will link. Um, I finished my Bite Sugar Cane lipstick, Bite Beauty, and right now this container that it was in has a lip balm in it um, because I had to depot it. So. That's an empty, but that was still part of this project. So I'll talk about that in my next update as an empty. Um, this eyeliner is staying in the project. Um, because it's almost done and I can't think of any project I would want to put it in instead. This hourglass blush in mood exposure has been moved to my... I think they're all moved to my Disney animated film project pan. Um, and that one ends in November, so rather than this being for the rest of the year, November, I'm either going to hit pan or I'm not. Um, I have two... I started off with four eyeshadows that I was using as face highlights, and I finished two. These two I am not working on right now, so, uh, because I'm panning something else as a face highlight. So these are just removed from the project entirely, and I will get to them when I get to them. I'm not worried about that at all because it doesn't take long to use up an eyeshadow as a face highlight for me. Um, then I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Mercury eyeshadow from the Subculture Palette. This uh, I bought from a friend because I like that it's a cool tone brown and it's a matte. Um, that's the part that I've been working on to pan. The rest of it has been in this container. Um, and I don't want to tilt it too much because it constantly breaks. Because that's just the formula. Like, I would never spend, is it like 40 or 50 something dollars on that palette? Because it's just like, it might have been just because I repressed it. But like, the formula is, I don't enjoy it as something... In the way that I blend eyeshadows, I don't think it's that great. The pigmentation is fine, but like, it's not worth the hassle. So, once I have that in this project, um, once this part is finished, this little side part, um, I am going to repress the rest of this, I think, back into that little pan so I can work on it. Um... And then I think I want to finish it, but it's possible that I'll just decide to stop panning it at some point because I have other things I want to pan in terms of mattes, but I haven't decided yet. Um, and I don't remember what else was in my project. I think that was everything. So of everything that I was panning, I'm keeping the eyeliner in the project. I'm keeping the mercury eyeshadow I was just talking about that's partially in here in the project and the sugar cane the lipstick that was in here sugar cane um is finished but that's technically from this project and then my other things are not um the reason I'm doing this is because I want to do more small projects and doing a year-long project makes it so I can't really do small ones because if I fill up a year-long project pan with stuff from almost every single category in my collection of makeup there's no room for me to be like oh I want to pan this lipstick in another project or I want to pan this blush in another project like it doesn't really work um I mean I could but what would end up happening is I would use one or the other and then one project would show progress and the other wouldn't and that doesn't really make sense so now what I'm doing is multiple small projects where each have items from a different face category so I can use all of them and have progress without feeling like I'm neglecting something and then 
I don't have to feel like it's I'm dedicated to it for an entire year because they all have their own beginning and end dates. So that's why I'm doing this. I know that I'm not giving up on my project. I just need to change things up. I'm especially like this blush I have been working on for so long and I like it. Um, it's really pretty. It's just like the dip is so huge in it. Like it's so thin on that side and I swear I thought I was going to hit pan last year. Like it just all year I was like oh I'm going to hit pan on this and it never happened and I've been using it and it's still not happening and I'm like I can't do this all the way through December. So I'm fine with ending it on I think it's November 21st and putting it aside and coming back to it later because I really like it and I want to hit pan and I want to finish it. Um, but to use the same blush for a super long period of time, the same one, is not for me. Um, it's not my favorite blush color anymore. I have, um, like two other ones that I like better and I have another one that I like just as much. I only have five blushes, I think, or four. No, I only have four because I gave up the Tarte one. Unless I'm forgetting something. So like out of my four blushes, this is, a, I like it as much as my other one that isn't a favorite. And then I have two above that. So it's like, I'm not a blush person anyway. So there's really no need for me to have four. I think three is a maximum for me. I wanted to quickly mention, I know Hourglass gets a lot of flack for their holiday palettes being very small. Um, and I wanted to point out, this was in the 2014 blush palette trio um and it took me over a year to pan what is it called my favorite one it's the one that was in the middle electra something electra incandescent electra that's my favorite this was my second favorite um but these are smaller than the full size blushes and I wanted to point out that even though the palettes now for holiday are even smaller, where it's like the size of a quarter, um, it will take you at least a year to go through each blush. So I would be happy to get one of those in the future once I use up some blushes. Because you would think, oh, that's really small. And maybe it's just my skin tone. I don't use a lot of blush because I am so fair that it would be too much for me. Um... So maybe if you have a very deep skin tone, you have to build it up. That might be a thing. But for the most part, I don't see an issue with them being very small. Especially considering if you're buying it because you want to test out a large um, selection of products from them. Like I know they had like six pan face palettes. Um, it's going to take you a long time to go through those. And when you break up the price for how much product you're getting, I do think it's a good deal. So I just want to throw that out there because a lot of people are like, oh, it's so small. It's like, outside of the panning community, who's going to finish it? And even in the panning community, I don't think I've seen anyone actually even attempt to pan a huge, um, one of the bigger one, bigger ones, one with more of them. Um, or at least I haven't seen anyone finish an entire palette. Like, I've been working on the one I have since I got it in 2014 because it was my first thing of blushes and I've been using it. Um, and granted I have been using other blushes, but like, it's taken, it's 2018, I got that in 2014. One of the blushes I gave away, because the color wasn't for me, so it's like, I, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes when I watch reviews from people who don't pan, and they talk about, like, size of products and amount, or like, how long it'll take to use up, I'm like, but how would you know? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like my perspective or a panner's perspective is a little more realistic when it comes to how much product you should get in the f in anything. Like, for example, this is my only concealer, and it's very full coverage. You really need, like, a, literally, like, a dot. Like, I go like this, and then that's, like, probably, like, all of the spots on my forehead it covers. Like, you really don't need a lot. Um, but people who are like reviewing will might look at this and be like oh well another concealer has more it's like it's not really about 
size versus size of different products. It's about how much does each one take to use up and would you be able to use it up in that time period before it expires. Um, I haven't noticed any changes with the Hourglass blush yet. Um, I really don't think I will. I sanitize it about once every two to four weeks um, because I honestly don't remember to more frequently than that. I haven't had an issue with anything. It's just like the blush that never ends. So yeah, that's my project pan update and a little rant about whatever. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.